Father, we thank you for this wonderful evening. And we praise your holy name for bringing us here. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, visit us. Open our understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. The mystery of spiritual visitations. The mystery of spiritual visitations. There is a world of the spirit. There is a world of the physical. There is a world of the dead. There is a world of the living. There is a world where men do not tread. There is a world where the languages there are completely different from ours. There is a world which is different from our own. There is a world which is different from where we tread. And there is a realm in the spirit which is not available in the physical. So normally as a matter of rule, the living have nothing to do with the dead. Really, there should be no connection. And so when the disciples of Jesus went back to the grave and they were looking for Jesus, the angel said, why seek ye the living amongst the dead? There are different kinds of spirit realm. When one realm is visiting another, is an important thing. It is good for you to understand that the spiritual controls the physical. And that thing in the spiritual is where the power lies. In life, you can only have two types of spiritual visitation. One, divine visitation. Beloved, I tell you one truth as I stand here tonight. If God appears in your home, there will be peace there. If God appears in your business, there will be prosperity. If God appears to you in sickness, the sicknesses fly away. If God appears to a demon possessed, the demon possessed is set free. If God, by special grace, pays you a special visit, it is more than gathering all the general overseers in this world and all the prophets of this world and you ask them to come to your city room. If God talks to you for five minutes, it is more than any preacher talking to you for five years. When you encounter what you call divine visitation, it will give rise to what you call unforgettable experiences. It gives rise to uncommon breakthroughs. It gives rise to you receiving priceless information. It gives rise to you receiving direction for your life. What a wonderful thing is it, beloved, when you have a divine visitation. Men who have divine visitation, their lives never, never remain the same. Don't get me wrong, beloved. I'm not saying those who visit churches. No, no. Or you come to a service, you have some a joy in your heart. Mm-hmm. A heavenly visitor pays you a visit. That house that they visit you in is blessed. The room you were in that day is blessed. If you are sleeping on a bed, that bed that, that night is blessed and you sitting down there, you are blessed. God has no time to waste. God is not a time waster. And God does not pay purposeless visits. I want you to understand that very, very well. Enoch in the Bible received many, many divine visitations from God. When the divine visitation became almost an every minute affair, God said, there is no sense in just troubling this man. Let's go. And he took him away. Many are complaining day and night. I don't know why I don't have one come and break to you. Why don't you ask for a divine visitation? Why don't you ask the Lord to visit you and to appear? When God appears in a situation, no matter how tough your enemy is, that's the day they will flee. No matter at what battlefront you are fighting, the battle only continues until God appears at the war front. Beloved, when God appears at your battlefront, there is no battle anymore. When God appeared to Noah, Noah built the ark. 
When God appeared to Jacob, Jacob was totally changed. When God appeared to Isaiah, for the first time Isaiah saw himself, he said, Woe is me, for I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips. For the first time, that prophet was able to locate himself. When God appeared to Jeremiah, he received a wonderful commission. I've set you up to root up, to throw down, to pull, to plant, to build. Appearance of God to people, God's visitation has nothing to do with your age. Nothing at all. If God appears in the life of some of these people who are teenagers or young people, they will be completely, they will live a completely different life. They will see things differently. When God appeared to Paul, when God visited him, he became the apostles to the Gentiles. When God appeared to the parents of Samson, they conceived Samson. When God appeared to Zechariah and Elizabeth, they gave back to John. When God appeared to prophet Elijah, Elijah for the first time stood on Mount Carmel and challenged 850 satanic agents to a contest. It is therefore a very wonderful thing to receive that first kind of visitation, a divine visitation. It is this kind of visitation that God pays to people and he will tell you things he cannot tell others. It is an experience to be cherished. Would to God that God will visit everyone present here today and our church will completely be transformed. Job, listen to what Job said in Job chapter 23. Listen to what Job said he would do if he finds God. Job chapter 23, I read from verse 3. Job 23, verse 3. Job 23, verse 3. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his seat, I will order my curse before him and fill my mouth with argument. I will know the words which he will answer me and understand what he will say unto me. Will he plead against me with his great power? No. But he will put strength in me. There the righteous might dispute with him. So shall I be delivered forever from my judge. Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. I'm backward, but I cannot perceive him. On the left hand, where he does walk, I cannot behold him. He hided himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. But he knew it the way that I take. When he had tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Many believers only know the Lord superficially. But the Bible says, They that know their God shall be strong. Can you see what I've just said? <laughs> Can you shout it loud and clear? The opposite is that they that do not know their goal shall be weak. They can know the general of Asia. They can know all the pastors. They may even be their uncles or their brothers. That's different from knowing God. They that know their God shall be strong. They that do not know their God shall be weak. They that know their God shall do exploits. They that do not know their God shall be exploited. Many believers just know the Lord superficially. Many don't really love God. Because some are just seeking for the hands of God and they're not looking at his face. Give me, give me, give me, give me. But they're not looking at his face. This man you're asking to give you something. Look at his expression. Is he happy with you? They find the time they spend in the presence of God completely uninteresting. Our present generation does not provide for quiet. But the secret many believers do not know that the Lord loves our communion. He enjoys you talking to him and he talking to you. If you say somebody is your lover, then you enjoy talking to each other. And there will be many things you'll be talking together if you can't share in the open. God wants men to be his lover. But when there is no time to listen to him or to hear from him, no time to shut out other voices and noises, then visitation will be very, very difficult. This is not just running to the mountain. Many ran to the mountain with the problem of the valley and they came back with their problems multiplied. You say, yes, so, but I, 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 I fasted before, but I didn't receive any visitation. You cannot force God to visit you. He will visit at his own time. For how long have you waited on God waiting for a visitation? Maybe you tried week, one weekend. It's silent. Why don't you try another weekend? 
you try doing some kind of program, no visitation. Why don't you try another program again? Divine visitation is a very, very wonderful thing. And at this level now, I'd like you to close your eyes. This is a very, very interesting and serious matter. When God appears in your blood, your blood is charged with fire. When God appears in that business, all those who are swallowing your business will run away and prosperity will come. When God appears in your spiritual life and you receive a divine visitation, you become an entirely different person. As many people as are clamoring for a divine visitation and you are thirsty and hungry for it, it is to them I want to address now. Those who are not really serious with it yet, you can keep quiet or pray a gentleman's prayer. But as many people as want a visitation of heaven, you will say this louder than anyone in this arena. Oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Is that the loudest who can shout that name? Visit me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There are two songs I want you to sing now. One is in English, one is in Yoruba. Sing anyone that is convenient for you. One is, Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest. Oh look back like Jesus me. Oh look back like me. Father on me, oh Nino, I hear me. Oh look back like Jesus me. Oh look back like Jesus me. Oh look back like me. Fala on me, oh Nino, I hear me, oh. Oh, look by like Jesus. Come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, oh. Oh, yes, come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Raise your voice, 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 raise your voice. Come down. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, come. Oh, yes. Something is happening already. Masopo kotenda kaya bo shantara bo karaba. Yes, Oh, come, oh Lord, I'm 
manifest your power. Come, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Come down. Masopoko tanda kaya bo shandara boraba. Riopol idrasente kaya ba. Come down. Oh Lord. And manifest your power. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord. Of the Lord, come Amen. And Hallelujah. 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 Glory of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, let the glory of the Lord come down, come down, come down, glory of the Lord come Amen. Hallelujah. Come down, O Lord, and manifest your power. Yes. Come down, O Lord, and manifest your power. Wow, one wow, wow, fear, barrel, oh, oh, yes, oh, wow, one wow, fear, barrel, oh, oh, yes, oh, one wow, fear, ah, come down, oh, Manifest your power. Ah, oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Ah, come down. oh, 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 Your power, ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord. Come down, Amen. Let the glory of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the glory of the Lord come, Amen. 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 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Silence, beloved. His presence has the ability to destroy every agenda of darkness. His presence has the ability to put every enemy to shame. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's have a sit and continue a little bit. The second type of visitation is the negative visitation. The visitation by the enemy. There is no one that the devil does not visit. But when the demonic forces come, the purpose is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. John 14, 30 tells us. John chapter 14, verse 30 says this. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world commit and hath nothing in me. He paid Jesus a visit. So there is nobody they don't visit. But the important thing is that such visits should not prosper in your life. Unfortunately, the weapons of the enemy has prospered in so many lives before they start praying. Very few can boldly say they escaped untouched. Many have fought vigorously in their dreams. Maybe they won. But in winning, they receive a few blows too. Sometimes there is a boxing match. And somebody has won the match. But you see, even the winner, you can't see his eyes outside because he has received blows with swollen face. He's still a winner, but he has swollen face. So, the spiritual wounds that people have received in those visitations needs to be healed. Satanic visitation is a terrible thing, especially for the fearful and the ignorant. Some of the things that characterize satanic visitations are this. All of a sudden, you feel a cold chill running through your body. The night. You don't know where it's coming from. Sometimes, you see, if you see a paralytic force all over the body, you want to lift your hand, lift your leg, you can't lift them. Those are the visitation hours. Sometimes the head seems to be larger than usual. Those are the visitation hours. Sometimes the person is suppressed on the bed. Those are the hours of visitation. Sometimes it's direct attack by masquerades or evil soldiers or a black agent appearing in the room. Sometimes it's demon idols sent to people. Sometimes they blow wind at people. Sometimes I says a feeling of sharp objects entering the body. You just notice something is entering the body. Sometimes strange voices are speaking. The person cannot see the strange voice. Somebody told me he went on 40 days fasting. And after the 14 days fasting, the day he was breaking the fast, he had a voice. The voice called his name. And he said, you have failed. After 40 days, he broke down and cried. It's a visitation of darkness. Sometimes the person finds himself arranging a courtroom. Sometimes people find themselves arranging a group of people with black uniform. Sometimes these agents come to people. They don't harm people. They go away. But it's a lie. Invisible evil materials have already been planted in the body. There is practically no no one here today who at one time or the other has not had any demonic or evil visitation. Tonight is the night to fight off the effect and consequences of such visits. If instead of going forward you find yourself going backwards, you have had an evil visit and the visit has prospered. 
You marry success, but success is not coming your way. You should be a winner, but you are failing. Sometimes you don't even understand yourself. Sudden hatred between husband and wife. A rich person suddenly turning poor. Your life has remained completely stagnant for years. Unnatural movement in parts of the body. Inability to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Problems are just multiplying. Problems are going, another one is coming. It means you have received an evil visitation and the visit has prospered. Any area in which evil visitation has prospered shall be resolved tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. Many have received body arrows during unprofitable visitations. And so you begin to notice weakness in prayer, constant sickness, spiritual sluggishness, regular night feeding, inability to sleep well, sleeping during prayers, losing joy of salvation. You need to stir up yourself here tonight and shake off these arrows of visitation to go back to where they came from. I know a man of God, they sent a demon idol to him. And he looked at the demon idol. I said, the demon idol came and stood before him and mentioned all his names. All the names they gave to him on the day he was, uh, on the day he was named. Even the names he was not bearing. The demon idol mentioned everything. Say, you, this, 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 that I was sent to you. The man of God said, really? Okay, number one, stand at attention like a soldier. The thing stood still. So, okay, what's that in your hand? Say, club. Okay. So start to use it on your own head now. And he began to use it. And as he was eating himself, a woman's voice was crying. A woman's voice was crying until the thing continued until he broke his own head completely. By the next morning, five people were dead. All those who conspired to send the evil visitor. And I decree here tonight, any power that has conspired to send evil visitors to you shall receive the arrow sevenfold tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But then, I say mystery behind evil visitation. The evil behind it is what we call the magnet of darkness. The magnet of darkness is a spiritual deposit. The enemy has a tangible object, visible or invisible, inside the person's body. This deposit could be in any part of the body. You could have a plantation of darkness in your body. This is not just a demon, but a property of darkness. It is a deep, it, it is, it has, it is now constituting a negative magnet. When there is that negative magnet in a person's body, it will bring bad luck, bad aura, spiritual irritation. You become a candidate of constant attacks. There will be blockages and unexplainable hatred. Terrible accidents, unexpected tragedies, peppery body pain like pains, dreaming and forgetting, and all kinds of other terrible things will be happening because the magnet will be attracting evil to you. This is where one has to be very, very careful. Once you acquire a magnet of darkness, it's like you put dry fish inside your cupboard, or you put sugar inside your cupboard, and you say ants should not visit. Rats don't come up, but you put the thing there. It will magnetize them. We call them. They smell it where they are. They send out their hunter dogs to smell out where they should go. I pray that tonight, whatsoever is attracting the enemy to any life here, shall die completely in the name of Jesus. That's why, if you go to fake churches, and they give you baths. They bathe you. It's a magnet of darkness. They've seen visions for you. A magnet of darkness. Their prophets have slept with you. They are in trouble. A magnet of darkness. You went to a herbalist. Your visiting there puts the magnet in your body. You practice all the occult or read their books. It's a magnet of darkness. There are many things that can consume that magnet. What you need to do is tonight to make up our mind that anything that is in our lives that is magnetizing the enemy, we should ask the Lord to forgive us of them. We should repent before the Lord and get saved. 
Then we should begin to pray to clear out every demonic property from our lives. Then we begin to pray personalized, violent, and specific prayers. And begin to cancel whatsoever evil visitation has planted in our lives. One thing is certain, beloved. Satan can never defeat a soul that is wearing the whole armor of God. He who wears the armor of God shall defeat Satan. Read your Bible very well. You will never find a saint harassed by the enemy who did not come out victorious. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 14, God issued an irrevocable curse on Satan. Genesis 3 14. And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thou dost shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and oh. between thy seed and her seed. He shall oh, bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his ill. God has placed a curse on Satan. A curse that cleaves to Satan like glue. That curse prostrates Satan under our feet. That's why Jesus said, Nothing shall by any means hurt you. I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Because God has said, Upon the belly shall thou go. So all the bruises that Satan is given by this evil visitation, he shall be rewarded with the breaking of his own head. So as believers, we are not food for the devil's mouth. Let the devil bring up all his tricks. For every weapon that he has, God has higher weapons. And God will pursue the saint's enemy. That's his promise. God will break the brain of the enemy. He will break the brain. God will use the enemy's weapon to beat and wound the head of the enemy. All the fight that Joseph brothers fought him, they just help him to fulfill his destiny. Why they thought they were destroying him. Those who are trying to destroy you, they will help you to fulfill your destiny. So I want you to understand, whatever game your enemy has played so far, God outplays them at his own game. God will take the clever hunter and put him in his own trap. And God can arrange excellent deliverance for anybody. And if God is working in your life, none can drive God from his work. I want you to understand that this evening as we are going into prayers now. The kind of prayers we are going to start praying is both preventive, curative, and is defensive. Rise up on your feet now. And all eyes closed. This is first round of those prayers. Why is he coming down for the second round? All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very, very quickly now. Where you are, just raise up your right hand and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. These prayers, as I want you to pray, pray them with the whole of your heart. Especially if you know that one way or the other the enemy has paid you a visit. It is not a sin to overpray, but it's a sin to underpray. Even if you feel like nothing happened to you, it is still safer to pray. The first prayer I want you to pray now, which many have prayed in many places. And has given, that it has given them a lot of relief is the prayer we are going to start with now. Visitations of darkness into my life. Is that the loudest you can say it? But fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the visitations. Masopika tende ke ya boshente raba. Bonaka tenda ka ya boshente. It's happening already. 
That's right. Mosekaya Boshente Rabokora Basanda. Let us be silence now. Silence completely. The Lord said, there are people here tonight. As a result of visitations of darkness, some infirmities have entered into their lives. Right now, the infirmities that have entered as a result of the evil visitation, the one that is ringing in the center of the head, the one that is causing heaviness on the head, the one that is causing cloudiness in the eyes, the one that is causing arthritis in the legs, the one that is causing evil swelling in parts of the body, the one that is causing some parts of the body to start behaving strangely. The one that is causing evil swelling in parts of the body. The one that is causing cobwebs surrounding the face. The one that is causing paralysis. Right there where you are. The plantation that was planted during the visitation. According to the word of God that every tree that the father has not planted. Shall be rooted and thrown into the fire. Those things have been uprooted now. And they have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. In the name of Jesus. What's happening? Check your body now. Check your body now. Check that material moving about in your waist. Check that neck that the enemy has fired an arrow into. Check that breast to discover that the evil swelling there has gone. Check under your feet to see that that plantation of the enemy has disappeared. Check the anea to see that it has vanished. It's happening all over the place. Because they came as a, as a result of visitation of darkness. Silence. Check your body properly. Properly. Immediately you find that the Lord has removed that plantation of infirmity. Please don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Just quietly find a way to the altar here. I didn't ask you to come out if you want to be prayed for. No, 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 no. But God has touched you and I want to, put, want to pray for you to put a seal on that miracle. So that the enemy will not bring it back. Just find a way quietly here now to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Every property of the enemy in my life catch fire in the name of Jesus. That's right. Command the property of the enemy to catch fire. Tonight is tonight. You must not go home. With any property of darkness. That's why Jesus brought you here. Masopoko tende kata. Maria boko sotende ke ya bo shente raba. Manaribo soponde ke ya bo shente raba. Aha, 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 aha. Something is happening again. Every property of the enemy in my life. Catch fire! 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 
Maseka tenda kaya bo shende raboka. Boride kese tende kaya bo shente raba. Manare aloko sepa. Baloke tende kaya bo shente raboka raba. Masente kaya bo shente raba. Yes, 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 yes. Aha, 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 aha. The fire is burning, the fire is burning. In Jesus name we pray. Things are happening again. Check that stomach trouble you brought here. Find that the arrow of infirmity there at backfire. This person has been losing blood very aggressively. Go and check now. That evil blood flow has stopped. Just check your body and quietly find a way to the altar here. The prayer we are going to pray now, the Lord will use it to lift many out of whatever situation the enemy has put them. The root of my problems die in the name of Jesus. Yes, let the root of my problems die in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let your power move here in an awesome manner. Let your power move in an awesome manner. Let your power move in an awesome manner. Masika pola kaya bo shente raba. Banaribo sopende kaya bo shente. Tesetende kaya bo shente rabo kopola baraba. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power. Of the Holy Ghost, receive a lifted up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifted up by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I'm praying for your people who have attended this meeting. Beginning from today, receive the power of divine acceleration. The Holy Ghost will go to the north, to the south, to the east, and to the west. Everything that belongs to you, you shall possess your possession in the name of Jesus. The finger of God shall arise and write death sentence. On the walls of the wicked enemies fighting your life. In the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses you sometimes. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. This month you shall prosper. Every tragedy left in this year. Is minus you and your families in the name of Jesus. Any challenge that you might have brought to this meeting in the name which is above all names. 
Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Let the challenges become testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Come be a part of the MFM International Headquarters social media family by liking us and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click the notification bell. To be fully abreast of our programs, go follow, like and subscribe now. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here.